Okay, so we got back to Mufatlar last week, the little town along the Donau uh, Black Sea Canal. Uh, we traveled from London to Bucharest, from Bucharest to Constanza, from Constanza to Murfatlar. We uh, set off from London about a week ago, um, got the train from Bucharest to Constanza and then um, a taxi, communal taxi to the grain port. Uh, arrived at the boat to find no leaks surprisingly, which was nice compared to the years before we had leaks. Um, the boat was still standing fine on its tyres. Um, there was a lot of dust inside because the vents were open and um, it's a grain port and sand port so all the blowing grain chaff all went into the boat. We, the boat was a bit messy. Uh, we had left everything happy in the benches uh, to avoid any condensation and any moulding after after a few months of winter. We, um, it was very dusty because the, the boat sits on a grain and a and a, and a, um, a sand port and uh, because we left all the vents open to vent the boat uh, the dust just went in um, it was full of dead flies and the batteries the laser batteries died uh, something that Hamish was afraid that could happen uh, because the controller was not working properly when we left and it, it just happened so now we need to think what to do because we need to have some minimum energy to make sure that the anchor light and some minimum lights work. Uh, one big disaster was that our leisure batteries died. We had a dodgy charge controller which I knew about when I left and I was going to come back over the winter and replace it but um, it would have cost a couple of hundred quid and taken a week so I never got round to it and when I arrived the batteries were at five volts and batteries don't survive at five volts. I tried for a couple of days to recharge them. One of them got super hot and almost exploded, so I disconnected that one. The other one kind of held voltage, but not really, and um, and then kind of died. So that's two very expensive leisure batteries kaput. So I've got an old starter battery I'm gonna connect up and just use that for the next week or so and think about how to replace them. After we arrived, we just saw, we, we, we... We just decided. We just started emptying the boat, cleaning it up, uh, vacuum clean, uh, a bit of a washing. Um, we built some storage in the front of the boat, uh, just half of the storage. Uh, we have other half to build. We got we we, we ran out of of, uh, of a few of a few hardware pieces that we cannot find. So we need to stop on the next town to to get them. Uh, we've checked over the whole boat. Um, we filled her up with diesel. Um, yeah, she's ready to go back into the water, which I think is going to happen tomorrow. We, we, we sorted out through the things that we had and we gave lots of things away that we didn't need. Uh, we filled up with diesel, we've checked the engine, uh, Amy switched it on for a bit um, and it did run for 30 seconds. Uh, we've topped up with uh, oil, um, the oil filters and the fuel filters uh, we did replace before we left to London last year. Um, everyone at the port's really friendly. Um, went out for dinner with the um, big boss man. And, and now the, it looks like the boat goes back on the water tomorrow. Um, and so let's see what happens. So when the boat goes back in the water, we're just going to leave her overnight just to make sure we don't spring a leak. <laughs> and then we're going to set off um, through the canal and then past the lock and back onto the Danube. When we get to the Danube we'll drop the anchor and chill out for, a, for, for the night. And then we set off um, down the Danube again and come down to the Danube Delta. We're going to book into the Ukraine in the first Ukrainian city we come to and then um, head towards the coast and there's some little bays. We're going to anchor in these bays until the weather's perfect and then we've got a 24 hour crossing of the Black Sea to Odessa. Stay for a few days in Odessa and then we've got about 8 or 12 hour crossing to the mouth of the Dnieper River and then we go up into the Ukraine. It's going to be a big adventure. Last year the crane was almost a complete disaster but it worked out fine in the end. Let's hope this year it goes more smoothly.